Hey guys, this is Charles at Premium B. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways you can remove over sharpening on your action cameras in After Effects. What we're gonna be looking at is some aliasing, which is an artifact that can appear on any footage, but it's really common on action cameras like GoPros and drone footage. If I zoom in here, we're gonna kinda of see some of this kind of stair-stepping aliasing you can see right here. It's a type of distortion that makes the edges kind of appear jagged rather than smooth. And this is essentially a sampling error and it has to do with smaller camera sensors that are common on things like action cameras and phones and also drones. And a lot of times action cameras will have really high sharpening on by default. And in some cases you may not be able to actually turn that off. And another thing common on action cameras is they're usually very compressed. The footage is, as you can see, I have a little bit of like compression artifact going on here. And that can also increase the aliasing. So we'll be looking at a way we can blur this a little bit actually in After Effects with one of the blur effects. We're also gonna be looking at a free plugin that we're gonna use. And that plugin is FXAA from Plugin Everything. And what it does is it looks at the pixels in our scene and basically uses an edge detection algorithm, which then applies a smart blur and only smooths out kind of the jagged edges. So it essentially works like a smarter blur to only blur the edges and not everything else in the image. So you kind of retain a little bit more detail. And the great thing about FXAA is it renders really fast. So let's go ahead and get started here and look at our first shot. So I've got this drone shot and you can see as I zoom in here really far, we kind of have this boat going through here and you can kind of see the waves of the water. And we're getting a little bit of that jaggedness here, stair-stepping when we zoom in really close. Now let me first just apply a Gaussian blur to this. This is what I would normally do before I have the FXAA plugin. So I'm gonna select my footage, come over to effect, and under blur, I'm just gonna select a Gaussian blur. And what do I do here is I'm gonna zoom in so we can kind of see this detailing. I would usually just set this on something like two. And you can see that kind of softens up everything a little bit there. Uh, if we zoom over here, you can kind of see the detail in the trees. Go ahead and turn this on and off. And you can see how it softens up some of these edges that might be giving us some aliasing. You can see it's very subtle there. And in a lot of cases, you might even just set this to one. And what this will do is reduce some flickering you might see. And we might be able to notice it here on this kind of wave here behind the boat. See some of this really kind of harsher edging we're getting there. Let me check this on and off. And you can see what that does, but it softens up everything a little too much for my taste. And again, it's applying that blur to everything in the image. And if this was 4K footage and you applied this blur to it and scaled it down for HD, that's really when it's gonna work the best. It's gonna kind of reduce that aliasing and just give you a better image without some of that artifact and it's gonna occur. But like I said, we have a better way we can actually do this. And that's kind of the quick tip here and that's using the FXAA plugin, which is usually intended to reduce aliasing on motion graphics and things like that. But it works really well with action camera footage like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let me go ahead and delete the Gaussian blur. Let's zoom back in here on the boat. And let's go ahead and with our footage selected, come up to effect. And we're gonna come down here to plug in everything and select FXAA. And that's really all we need to do. You can see it just has a strength slider here. If you wanna adjust this, I would recommend leaving this at 100 and leaving it on color for the source because that's just applying it to the entire video. But let's come over here and look at the boat and the details here. Let me check this on and off. And you can see it's just subtly reducing some of that aliasing. It's very subtle. Again, we don't want this to apply too much blur to everything because we're gonna lose a lot of details. But if we come over here to some of the tree edges here, if we look at this, you see it's giving us just a very subtle kind of smart blur along the edges of things. Now, another thing you can do if you want is you can actually duplicate the FXA effects. I'm gonna select it, hit Control D to duplicate it, and it'll apply multiple, basically, instances of that to this. And you can see both of these are actually working, so I can toggle that on and off, and I can do it on the other one as well. So you can stack these, and it'll still be more subtle and work smarter than applying just a subtle Gaussian blur to everything on the footage. Let's look at another clip I've got here. I'm gonna zoom in here. It's another one on the lake and you can kind of see we have a little more artifacting and stuff going on in this footage. Let me go ahead and just kind of RAM preview this. And now we can see that. You can see we're getting some artifacting and we're getting a little bit of kind of jaggedness here too on some of the details. So let me apply FXAA to this now, see if we can soften this up a little bit. So I'm gonna select my footage, come up here to effect. And it's going to plug in everything and select FXAA. And you can see this really applies a nice kind of 
aliasing effect to that water ripple behind there. Softening that up and zoom out here a little bit more and take a look. Maybe hard to see with the compression, but it definitely will reduce a lot of that unwanted flickering and aliasing you're gonna get on some action camera footage like this. And again, it's gonna use that algorithm to do it in kind of a smart way. Let's look at two other quick example shots I've got here. Here's another drone shot flying over these trees, kind of have the pine needles here, and you have small, intricate details here, the limbs of the trees. That's really where you're gonna see a lot of the aliasing. So I'll go ahead and play this and kind of see what this looks like. So everything looks pretty good here, but if we had any issues with something, let me go ahead and zoom in. My footage selected come up to effect, come down here to plug in everything and select FXAA. And if we zoom in, we will see the subtle differences that's applying to the edges of things. We come here to look at some of these limbs over here. If they were giving us any flickering problems, you see just a very small amount of softening that it's applying there. You can see it more on the pine needles here if they were giving us any issues. Let's take a look at this shot here. I'm gonna zoom in here on these branches and we will take a look and see kind of the edging we're getting here. You can see we're getting something that has a lot of contrast there. It's where some of that aliasing may show up even more. So let me go ahead and select my footage, come up to effect, plug in everything in FXAA. Now you can really see how that softens that up. Just makes it look a lot better. It's almost like it's just kind of scaling up that footage to reduce that aliasing that we're really gonna see in this case where we have a lot of contrast. And so that's just a nice tip you can use on action camera footage or any footage where you're getting some aliasing artifacting. Instead of applying a Gaussian blur set of something really low to everything, use the FXAA plugin that's free from plugin everything. And that's just gonna give you a, a much better, more intelligent way to blur out that aliasing. All right guys, it's been Charles with Premium Beat. Make sure you check out the other tutorials we have on the Premium Beat channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.